says he'll work his way into his openings, but straight away, blurry hand speed, and the left hook lands on target. He's way in because he's got a kid in front of him that at least can jab well, throw the right hand reasonably well. Oh, good shot! Straight right, and Martinov's gone. He's on wobbly legs, and Khan found a terrific straight right hand, and Martinov is blinking, and the fight's all over in the first round. It's the quickest win of Khan's professional career against the South Pole, so leading from the right-handed stance. Won't be something he will be, he will be too particularly accustomed to. Oh, good shot from Khan! Terrific right hand, blurring hand speed, and Barrett down for only the second time in his career. He picked that shot beautifully. It was the speed, and Barrett just did not see it coming. Well, you can get up for it all you like, but when you don't see the shot, it's difficult to stay on your feet. Great right hand, that one from Khan, who's now looking to take Barrett out in the first round. And he's gone down for a second time. If he could get this fellow out of here in this opening round, it would be an extraordinary result. Barrett has won nine of his last ten. He's ranked above Khan in the British rankings, and Khan has made absolutely the dream start. So it's all over again. It's all over. Phil Edwards has said the fight is all over, the right hand putting Ryan Barrett down once again and the first round knockout victory for Amir Khan, that was terrific. He says he's going to walk through Khan, he's going to say welcome to the pro game and prove to him it's totally different than the amateur stuff, Bailey's never fought as an amateur, Khan has got him down within the first 20 seconds, a little right hand, the towel is still in the centre of the ring, I don't think the referee's seen it, there's some big bobs coming in from Amir Khan, what a start this is to his pro career, Bailey covering up, cannot keep him away, it's up to the referee who stops the fight, got a big shot from Amir Khan and that's it, that is it, 69 seconds and Amir Khan is off and running. The right game plan for him, and I think he's been his own worst enemy. We see already the hand speed of Amir Khan. He's thrown some very good combinations. In the total, we see that Amir Khan's so much busier that it's compact and it's landing very well. There's a left hook. Oh, and down goes Khan! The lunging left hook, out like you a said. lunging left hook by Diaz, and... Did you trip on his foot? How you feel? Go right back to boxing, okay? We gonna stop him. Well, so far, so good for Amir Khan in the opening minute as he's taking the fight back to Diaz as we take it. Again, Khan able to get on his bicycle, move laterally. Polly, as you were mentioning, really utilizing the real estate. And that's one of his better weapons. Amir has great legs, so why not use them if he can? He does get touched here and there, but otherwise he's, he's fainting, he's jabbing, he's picking his spots. Still a good round. Final 15 seconds of the bout. And yeah. here in Sheffield, England, we are headed to the judges' scorecards. Khan versus Diaz. So we are set for the main event here tonight. Amir Khan. Looking for a stay of execution. His sporting hero Muhammad Ali once said that only a man who knows what it is like to be defeated can reach down to the bottom of his soul and come up with the extra ounce of power it takes to win. For his blazing hand speed, sophisticated footwork, terrific jab, really has all of the technique and caught on the attack on Molina early again. Already blooding him up here. This is Khan's biggest test. Earl has been training in Florida with his new trainer, Gus Curran. Oh, good left hand. And another one. First round, the grab Earl goes down. Hand speed that did it. Terrific shots. Oh, two more, three more. This car's going to It's going to start it's right over. here, I think. It's all over. In seconds, the fight is all over. Spectacular fashion. Division Amir Khan's first foray at 147. Colazzo has campaigned his entire career at this weight and is coming off the biggest win of his career against Victor Ortiz. 
No ring rust being uh, showcased yet by Amir Khan as he looks very good with those combinations. For a very good fight, a very smart tactical game plan from him and Virgil Hunter. Man, listen, don't you do that shit again when you're holding your hands like that, you hear me? Yeah, this is your fight. You don't give him a chance like that. Now you see what happens when you faint him and drop him to the body? I'm going to faint him and look at me. It's Khan is blocking off you here, but... Khan all over Colosso. That's he knows he got the better of the exchange. He got the advantage in the round. Yeah. And that's why I thought he was wrestling. What he was doing was jockeying his hands for position so he could shift Colosso's hands. And Khan sensing... And Colosso down again. Three, four, five. Amir Khan has got a... Get his foot down on the gas and get scored against this cute counter puncher Kinderland. And he's got through early on. Amir Khan looking a lot stronger than he was in the Olympics. They say he went there a boy. He's come back a man. Khan registers the first point. Oh, just not letting Kinderland go to work. And Kinderland looked to be holding on there. 5 2. Amir Khan, it ticks up. That was a good shot acknowledged indeed by Kinderland. Khan fighting for the first time in his hometown, giving it absolutely everything here, Ricky. It's like we can never write off this Cuban. Not at all, as I keep saying, he could go through the gears at any stage, but... This is tremendous stuff from Amir Khan. He is in there with an absolute legend, and he is beating him at the moment as we tick down towards the end of the third, and giving it absolutely everything. And Kinderland is staring a rare defeat in the face. This is the last two minutes of Mario Kinderland's career. Seconds to go, Ricky. It's in the bag. We're ticking down. Amir Khan. And he lands again. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to beat Super Mario Absolutely Kinderland. Incredible. And he is Fantastic finishing with a forest. Fantastic performance. What an effort. 18-year-old Amir Khan. Thrones a legend, but make no mistake, this is the biggest occasion that Amir Khan has ever faced. His whole career is on the line. Yes, it's even bigger than that Olympic final in 2004. A win tonight catapults him into world class. And he award. He shouldn't be bored here with 20,000 people and starting as an underdog. But Khan, dominant so far, and unleashing the younger man. Khan. Enjoying himself almost in there at the moment. Getting a chance to find out what, I'm, what Barrera has left because Khan is not allowing him to use it. He's dominating this at the moment. We always know there's a danger, but he's dominating the action. Phones cut off. And now they're, they're going to have another look at this. They're going to have another look at this. There's a shake of the head from Barrera this time. Ian, I've never known a doctor to be called up twice and not stop it the second time. Very unusual. If he doesn't stop at this time, very unusual. It's over. It's a night of redemption for Amir Khan. He has beaten a ring legend. OK, a faded ring legend, hampered by a very, very bad cut. But that was an electrifying, world-class display from Amir Khan. He's back. See, Peterson is a thinking fighter, and quite often thinking fighters need a couple of... Okay, right hands. And see if this one's going to be ruled a knockdown. Same place, same left hook. This time it is a knockdown. There's a mouse under Khan. Oh. Good dash. A right oh, cross line. gets through. And Peterson senses he could finish this. What a round for Lamont Peterson. They kind of need to draw on all the experience you had in the Medina fight now. It's going to be a tough fight. And the champion is a gutty son of a gun. He's holding up real good. Moves real good. Lands real good shots. Terrific right off the gun from Khan and a again. point, a timeout. Hold on, is this another point? Another penalty point against Khan. And it is, it is. Point. How big could this be? That could, that could cost him the fight. A rapturous reception for Amir Khan, decked out in gold. Will it be his golden night, Jim? He's reacting quickly, so his thinking is sharp. This is an excellent start for him. Really is boxing beautifully here. He's showing the grit that we need to see from him in this round. This is real good stuff from Khan. He might be younger, he might be fresher, but he's outclassing a high-class technician. Patelnik coming on, trying the hooks, but look at that from Khan. Bobby and weaving and back with blistering speed. He is enjoying it tonight, Amir Khan. As the seconds tick away, the jab comes out again, which has been brilliant. A terrific, 
technical performance from Amir Khan, who followed the game plan and will be the world and waterweight champion. Have no doubts. The crowd. Green shorts his starting as a big break and a right hand straight away as Jack Salita. Almost the first punch of the fight. He's there. This Amir Khan, when he gets the punch, it's going, another big left hook, down, over, in a round, absolutely stunning. Reach. Khan is fighting an exceptionally smart fight. And Harold made the key point. Khan is getting off first, beginning the exchanges on those things that he sees from fight to fight. I think Khan is a much improved fighter from the other fights that I've seen. This is that his left best might have hurt you against the ropes. Khan knows he landed the left hook well. Now goes to the right. Just what you said, just change, he needs to fight. He systematically He's in perfect be position to shoot that punch, plus as his favorite punch anyway. Dracula is calling this a knockdown on a body shot. Khan comes to the neutral corner. Judah clearly thought he got hit low. He's not going to make it up. This is going to be a knockout victory for Amir. And Zab Judah believes that he was fouled, but he's not going to win the argument. Khan is fighting. Not only a good fight, but a smart fight. Malinaji's point that a lot of coddled European fighters fail once they leave Europe and are tested. Break, don't punch, don't punch. So far has not step, borne step, out step. tonight. Oh, Khan, Khan's knockout shots look more convincing. Good, good, Steve good Smoga stoppage Smoga. by Steve Smoga. Well done. Amir Khan personally picked Maidana for his opponent tonight to erase the nightmare of that knockout. Was it the right pick? And you see Khan's movement, his range, his height looks imposing, and the jab is terrific. And that got my daughter thinking about how hard he should attack. Freddie Roach said, Amir has fought 51 rounds for me, and I think he's won them all. In the eyes of judges, incidentally, oh. he won at least 40 oh. And down goes Madonna. Oh. What a tremendous body shot. And he may not get up. Now he's going to get up. You don't want to. What a body shot by Khan. You don't want it to go. Well, if he got up, boy, he wanted to get up. He's never been stopped. Khan wants him right now. And hit him with a big left hook after the bell. Round one was a wipeout. Is Khan going to be cautious or is he going to go after it? fact is, he can go after him while being cautious because of his range and his speed. The hand speed is so different here, so phenomenally different. Uh, Khan has so much more hand speed than Maidana that is throwing Maidana off. Right. Maidana can't believe that Khan can throw a four-punch combination before he responds. And have power on. He cannot let him keep hitting it with that overhand right like that. One of them is going to take his effect if he keep getting hit the same punch. Hard right hand. Khan is tremendously wobbled. Amir should be holding on right now. Maidana clocked him big time with the right hand. Khan was momentarily out on his feet. And he's hurt again. Maidana's got his chance. Plenty of time left in the tent. And the left hook lands for Maidana. Khan is, Khan is wobbling. Khan is almost gone. Will he hold? Will he hold? He will not. He pushes Maidana away. He wants to fight on wobbly legs. Too much heart. Too much heart for Khan. He is a little bull. Ten seconds to go in the round. Khan is wobbly again. Maidana too oh, tired oh. to land cleanly. Maidana can't get him out of there. How much of Amir Khan is left? Khan's going to choose to risk and fight again. That one last combination secured safety for Khan. And this may win him the round. And if he wins the round, he may be safe. Gentlemen, that was a fight.
same, it's the return of the funky man. I'm hip to the game. Why? I always be the same.